I hope y'all doing well. I came to uh, holler at you for a little bit. And um, talk to you guys a little bit about what, what all I got going on. I've been kind of MIA off the live for, for hot, what, two, three weeks. And I got to give my breast some freedom. They want, they said, girl, put a sock. We've been K double little tomorrow. I said, all right, girls, here we go. <laughs> Ready, said, here we go. And I have on the lovely Ursley Freda necklace. Yes. Got the long stem rose. Y'all can see that. Heart. Open heart. It's open, right? Gold. Heart of gold. It's open. The Hamsa, also known as the um, Hand of Fatima. And you have your crossroads. You got to get through Papa first, baby. And you know what? Something was on me today. And then this is the uh, leaf. It looked like a marijuana leaf, don't it? For y'all that smoke that stuff. I'm going to tell y'all about smoking that stuff. I got a whole, I got a, got a lot to tell you about smoking that stuff. A lot of y'all going to log off. You're going to leave this live because I got some truth about that, smoking that stuff. I ain't knocking it. I'm just saying that it don't. Elevate your spirituality. It's like alcohol. But um, I'm going to do a whole little lecture about that. In a little while. I guess I'll do a go live about that. I might as well go in now since I'm here. Got all y'all warmed up about it. <laughs> Smoking ass stuff. Now. I used to be a smoker too. I used to smoke me some weed, okay? Especially like uh, high at the end of my high school career. <laughs> I smoked my face off into my early 20s. I'm talking about, you know, I was in California. We had that good, good. It had the whole car smelling like dank. You know what I'm saying? So, though people, in spite of popular beliefs, we does not elevate your consciousness. Weed is actually for escapism. It's when it's burned. And then because it's legal right now, y'all really think they putting out good weed, fresh, purified, homegrown, land grown, right out the soil weed. You really think they doing that? You about as dumb as that vaccine. I'm going to tell you something. It's not. It's, it's laced with all sorts of chemicals to get you addicted. So you can buy. And now that they've, you know, conjured them up a way to, you know, monetize this beautiful herb. They want to get as many people as hooked on it as possible. So, so they keep taking your money. That's what the whole war on drugs was about. Them not being able to monetize or wanting they cut. Uncle Sam, the big mob boss, wanted his cut. That's the pharmaceutical industry. Okay? So unless you growing that shit in your backyard... From some seeds you pulled up. And you got some weed from Mexico. Or Oregon. That's where the best come from. That's why the West Coast got the best weed. right? Because we, we right there. But that shit from Oregon and Washington. Well, Oregon primarily. They got them fat. You know? And that shit in Mexico. Have you like on some other shit. Hookah is bad for you too. Um... It's just fruit, but it's still, you know, I don't know what, what all is in it. I ain't really went into it or studied it because I don't smoke like that. I smoke cigarettes. I mean, fuck it. You going to do it? Do it. You going <laughs> to go on jump, boy. <laughs> Y'all seen that movie? Um, stamp, what was it? Was it Lean on Me? <laughs> Frying your brain cells. Go all the way. <laughs> don't hold back now. <laughs> if you going to do it, do it 100% all the way right. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's a very nasty habit and I'm trying to break it I just really started it about six months ago 
because I have anxiety issues. And, um, yeah, so I'm working on myself. I got stuff to work on, okay? Yeah. Anywho. Plus, my grandma, she be, I be like, I ain't gonna blame my grandma. I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna tell her ass no. I might not be able to get some things that I want, but <laughs> because you know, in your spiritual diet, when you don't consume some things for, your, for the ancestors, that you know, you kind of get deprived. So you got to work your way around it. That's just the way it goes. Anywho, yeah. So also, do you really think that if it was good for you, that they're going to put it out there for everybody to just partake? If you, if you really thought it brought you heat, most importantly, the real, real of it, if you, if you really think it brought healing, physical healing to your body so you don't have to go to the doctor, do you think they would be trying to mon uh, or trying to make it free, free for, you know, like free to use, not in the free to cost, but you still have to pay for um, I don't know why I do that. I'm leaving my cabinets open. You still have to pay um to grow it. You gotta pay a, a licensing sort of fee, um, for like a farmer's fee. You got yeah, it's all sorts of permits and shit you got to have. They got to know the drug the 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 corner boys. They got to know who their corner boy is gonna be. So you know, and corner boys is I mean what do you call these little shops. Is the new corner boys basically for the weed? It is what it is. Let's just be real about the shit. But it ain't elevating nobody's consciousness. It's not putting you in connection to the ancestors. That's a bunch of BS. Don't believe that hype. Excuse. Yeah, that's a bunch of BS. It actually, um, just like the effects of alcohol. It's escapism. People use it to escape reality, to escape or make it easier to deal with this shit that's happening for real in the physical, but it's metaphysical. Okay? Just allows you some freedom from believing what's really happening is happening instead of facing it without fear in your natural self, in your whole self so anywho <laughs> Aries make us all on edge man I ain't afraid of no ghosts <laughs> um it is a very um warming it's like the first fire sign of the uh of the zodiac right <sighs> oh boy they always starting shit. Is that y'all? Aries always starting shit. I'm just messing with you. Um, I just really came on here to say hey, show my face for a little bit because I ain't hollered at y'all on the live in a minute and putting none of those videos up. Um, I have other things to talk about though. Right now, I'm doing the Grand Goddess. Or Goddess Grand Rising. Thank you. Um, it's a coaching program that I started. It evolved from the Getting to Goddess program. Where I do spiritual coaching. I teach you a little something, something. You know, I may not be able to teach you, but I, you know, can kind of help and guide you. And I'm a spiritual advisor. That's what I do. You know, and try to be as, uh, help you as to be your authentic self as much as possible. And um, I also got a couple of new products out on the link in my bio. One of them being the Ancestor Connection. And that is helping people get in touch with the other side, using my abilities to speak to those who have transcended or here with us in spirit. I've passed on. They died. <laughs> but they are still needing to get a message to you. Or you may have issues or some 
issues with closure that you weren't able to resolve while they were living. And those questions can be asked of the other side. I can't promise you what they're going to say. But we can certainly make a shoot our shot, right, in this session. And for those who are um, dealing with someone who is maybe sick or on their deathbed or is, you know, kind of maybe in a coma, I've had that situation before, and they needed, like, preparation for the passing and transition of to kind of, you know, get some clarity on what to do because death will put people in a very... Um, traumatic state of loss and it's always helpful to kind of <sighs> yeah be a bridge thank you uh, for those people to be a messenger uh, or medium and that's what i do um that's the reset included with that service though is um ancestor altar guidance so if you don't have an ancestor altar or you need information about how to um Get your ancestor altar up and popping. I can help you with that. And that comes with the mediumship service, which is the ancestral connection service. It's the only one of its kind on my um, service page. So if you're interested in that, I can help you. I'm also selling this beautiful necklace. The titties don't come with it. But um, let me go ahead and put this out there. Like this. <laughs> Layered necklace. Everything that's Ursula and more, baby. She's a healer. Come to your crossroads and transformation. She's love. She's an open heart. She's protection. She's all that. And it's beautiful. And it's only $23.99 plus $6 shipping and handling anywhere in the U.S. So order that from me, if you will, DM me. Um, if you like, if you do, don't want to do cash app, I can send you an invoice and we can hook it all up that way. I'm shipping tomorrow, so get with me tonight before 10, what time is it? Before 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central Standard because I'm trying to um, eat my little stuffed crabs and macaroni and cheese and go to sleep. And what else have I been up to? Writing. I'm trying to do my own cards and stuff. And I'm also trying to get involved in stocks and step up my you know, financial um, portfolio and become um, diverse in my streams of revenue. Yes, indeed. Trying to better myself. So I have something to leave to my, uh, my nephews. Because <laughs> I ain't got no kids. So, you know, leave it to somebody. Somebody got to get it. Um, and that, and God's son. So, I, I forgot I got God kids. Oh, I guess I should call them. Yeah. Woo. Responsibilities. It's just a lot. Yes, indeed. Um, I hope y'all doing well. I'm still doing readings. I do half hour and full hour readings. If you're interested. Um... All my sessions are healing, not just one. So come get this good old healing and closure. Get all yourself together. I'll find you, find your ass like that. <laughs> um, I just came in here to play with y'all for a little bit, but um, I'm gonna watch some TV. I've been watching Golden Girls lately. Listen, I was like eight when this show came out. Don't judge me. And I remember I liked it a lot when I was a little kid, and I was sitting here watching i'm like why did i like this show uh, it's three old ladies right um on this show four and little white ladies too but i realized i learned a lot from their ass I, I, I really did at a young age and i just always been an old soul like that too though so i liked old people shit when i was little <laughs> Yes, the tiniest one, the oldest one, Sophia. Sophia was, I had to check out when they all died. So, uh, yes, Golden Girls are hilarious. And Sophia was the cutest little shit. She never came out that room without that damn purse. Got a little purse she had. Why was she always had that purse in the house in the middle of the night? She, she had that purse on. <laughs> and then I realized, like, 
who would I have been in my who who am I or who would I be like in my older age when it comes down? But like I'd be a cross between. I be having. I used to have some blind moments, but so definitely not uh, Rose. But she was talented and super sweet, uh, in spite of being dumb as shit. Um, I think I would have been a, a kind of a cross between Dorothy and Blanche, but Blanche was out there, y'all. Like Blanche is a full on hoe. Like I ain't talking about whole spirit. I'm talking about just a full on ass hoe. Like this bitch was like trying to sleep with all the men, like not just the, all the men. She had them all. I was, I was, I, I'm still just trying to be like, okay. And listen, it's a difference between a, a hoe and having that. I emphasize that whole spirit it's a difference i'm gonna get with y'all about that i'm gonna get with y'all about that i'm writing that too so uh no i think she i think i think blanche is worth i mean it's worse than um um what was her name in sex in the city oh shit what was her name i forget but Blanche is a full-on hoe. Y'all know she's... <laughs> Who was for the streets? Who... She was for the streets. Who? Did I miss what I miss? The streets of Sicily. Picture it. Sicily. 1908. And people are like, what? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Picture it. <laughs> she was trying to take you into meditation. <laughs> Oh, Samantha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samantha ass. For sure. <laughs> oh. Blanche ass just... You know what she's... I realized, too, now watching this as an adult, that she was a super southerner, a confederate. Um, a lot of the comments that she made about um, having servants... Um, a, a lot about always calling somebody from the north a Yankee. I I have met somebody like that who call all Northerners Yankees. It's still some people that think that way. Can you believe that shit? It's still people that think in that way. Like, when these people gonna be dead so we can just move on with some love and light? <laughs> like, it's some real straight up like. People who believe in the Confederacy, who really want to have people back in slaves, back as slaves, and you know, put people in slavery. I mean, it's kind of hard to fathom the idea now, but it is actually happening, and that's what trafficking is about. People from other countries. There's still slavery in other countries. And I don't even think we, we realize that. <sighs> oh, as in, a, oh, she was she was a street. Yeah, she was she definitely for the streets. She was out there. Did you see her birthday party? When they had her birthday party, she, it was all men there. I was surprised they did like, none of them got into it. Nothing. They were just all happy to be at her birthday party. Yes, indeed. So, anywho, um, I've been on here a little way longer than I expected to, y'all. Y'all fun. Y'all fun. You know what we haven't done in a while? Oh, you know what else I got coming up? Holy smokes. I got something else coming up for y'all. Now, everybody be wanting love and romance rituals. Everybody want them love and romance rituals. Yeah, you do. Well, I'm actually going to start doing coaching love and romance rituals like a week in advance before you need to perform it so my first one for the peak moon no less okay so i'm doing that class on a thursday or it's at least friday i'm doing it on thursday and i'm going to um not just give you a ritual i'm gonna coach you how to do this ritual what to say, what to do, what to have, things to buy, everything you need. I'm also going to, of course, include the Lua. 
none other than Ursula Fuera. How how you can you know how, what you need to do for her for this, and it won't just be the ritual. You also be prepped. You get uh, ritual preparations such as your bath, addressing the lua, your preparation and your ritual. Yes, all of that is going down on the sixteenth of april thursday the 16th why because the full moon um, is on the 26th monday the 26th and romance rituals or love rituals and spells and stuff should be done on the friday before and i'm gonna help you out with that so on the 16th i'm gonna give you information that way you got time to Find and order your products and, you know, uh, uh, acquire or accumulate all your necessities for the ritual, for the ritual bath and for the lua. And then you, so you got days, you got like 10 days to do that. Then you're going to, you know, have the day to, to do it on that Friday in time for that Friday to perform your ritual so that they can manifest under the, Full moon for the 26th. So, April 16th is the workshop. It's the full moon magic workshop. Ursula Fuera's pink full moon workshop, baby. It is for, it's to, it is for love. It's to find love with you and whomever you want. I got you. I got you. Yes. We're going to do this self-love. We're going to do this romantic love. And you know that song that's been, um, uh, I played it on the, I was actually singing it before y'all showed up. Uh, the one with the necklace, where I have on a pink dress, about, um, who's that, Jill Scott? I just want to be loved like everybody else does. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved like everybody else does. I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. Don't we all want that? We got to make ourselves, you know, romantic. We got to love ourselves, right? First, we got to do that so that you can call that energy in to accompany you. Yes? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So we're going to do it up. Y'all sign up for that. It's going to be on April 16th. It is on the service page. Link is in the bayou. You don't want to miss that. Don't come to me on the Friday of before the full moon talking about you need a love spell. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. You might have to pay me a whole lot, but I'm not going to do it unless you paid me a whole lot. But you can do it yourself. Use your energy. Use your energy because you got power too. Okay? And I'm not going to steer you wrong. Your girl ain't going to steer you wrong. All right? So, of course, uh, like... I said all that just to say yeah 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 go find you some love go find you some love within yourself and with somebody else because you got to have it for yourself first i'll say -bo -bo. <laughs> fun stuff so the necklace i got some rings coming out soon too but I'm, I'm getting out these necklaces first and just trying this out because when I open the shop, I want to have, you know, some things, all things Ursula, of course. And so, yeah, so those, the necklaces, the ancestral connection service or mediumship, um, the uh, love rituals will be starting. There will be the a couple of weeks in advance before the full moon. So every full moon, we're going to have a ritual. Love triangles. Loyal, you know, loyalty rituals. Keep a, a, a faithful or a, a lover loyal or a lover, a lover faithful to you. <coughs> Depending on how I feel, I might even do a breakup spell. Hell. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some good stuff. Some. Mm. 
I just got I just got a book of, of stuff to just give y'all. I've been sitting on for a while. I don't know why. It just was I just wasn't ready. Spirit wasn't ready for me to release it. So yeah, I got some I got some stuff to do. A lot of work to do. Cards to be made. Some decks for y'all. Some books. I'm trying to get it all out there. I am currently in New Orleans. And when I open my shop, I'm probably going to open the first one in Atlanta, though, to be honest. Lady girl, you give me a lot at one time. And let's just start with the love. <coughs> Everybody doing wealth and money. It's, it's, all these practitioners, that's all they do is money. That gets everybody's attention because... But I want you to know what love is because with that, you're wealthy, right? Money has become people's God. What about the gods? Hey, y'all. Say hi to my little fish. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this around. Badass little, it's a bad fish. He be having an attitude. She be having a, whatever, whatever it is. Be having an attitude. You always turn your back when the camera come. When the phone come to the phone. I mean, uh, the camera come to the bowl. Now you trying to get out. What you trying to go get? What you trying to go get? The bees? You just see some stuff. I do. This is a cool little fish. I think I knocked him out today, um, accidentally. When I was cleaning the bowl, I was switching. And I put him in the um, in the in the pitcher with the good water, and then when I poured the water back in the bowl, I think I knocked him out because he was just sitting there for a little bit, like, and he looked like a bitch, and he just looked like, wasn't messing with me. And then I, I hit I hit the bowl to wake him up, and then he turned his back like I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> I, yeah, cause I thought he was really asleep though. I was like, well, he wasn't floating to the top, though. I know he wasn't dead, but he was uh, yeah. And that, now he facing me like you know like he's something else. Let me show y'all. Oh, he funny style. <laughs> Funny stuff. <laughs> that fish crazy. But that's the only pet I got. I was thinking about getting a um getting a dog. I kinda really want a dog. But I want somebody to buy it for me. Ain't this necklace pretty y'all? I, I just if my breast was flatter, it might uh, I'm trying to get tattooed there anyway though. Okay, y'all I'm showing y'all my business. Let me be a little more ladylike. All right. <laughs> well, they are ladylike. Hell, it is what it is. You got to put them things in something to keep them together. <sighs> Lord. Okay. You, you wasn't doing all this earlier. Now you just acting up. Get together. As a leo, God, I'm on the say. As a leo, God, I'm on the say. As a leo, God, I'm on the use. Si n'am pwen di lo, use la vek lotion. As a leo, God, I'm on the use. As a leo, God, I'm on the use. As a leo, God, I'm on the use. Si n'am pwen di lo, use la vek lotion.